I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their host have I commanded. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honour and power, for you have created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. Neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he gives to all life and breath and all things, and has made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on the face of the earth. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach you, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell you, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach you, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto you, who knows not in all these that the hand of the Lord has wrought this, in whose hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he has inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection in the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the lives of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection, on such the second death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. So for more information, why not write for your free copy of our Good News magazine? It's yours free for the asking. And while you're at it, why not ask for your free copy of our booklet, Does God Exist? This booklet answers the big question, Does God Exist? Why not also write for our free booklet, Creation or Evolution? This booklet answers the big question, Is evolution true or is God true?